So what are you guys? We are the Swartwood family! So are you guys real Swartwood MCAT students? Hell yeah! Okay, I'll wait for you. you this percentage is... By the way, did you guys work at all on that problem? Okay, so let's say you have Angela, and she starts off with a salary. And let's say she gets an initial salary, and then she has, in the first year, a bonus. So she gets a raise. So she gets a 10% raise. Okay, give me a And then after that, the following year, she gets another raise, another 10% raise. Okay? And then the question is, now she's got her final income, right? What is the percent increase in her income in this, in this year, right? After year, what, first year, so second, third? In the third year, relative to what she had in the first year. So what's the percent increase in her income by the time she has both raises from her starting income? So help me out. Huh? It wouldn't be 20. That's definitely a trap. Yeah. The trap is it's not 20 because it originally really was a 10% increase, right? Bingo. Okay, so you get... So now you have 110. Because you have... So you have start with a salary and then you have... 110. Bingo. And then you have another, and then you have another 110? No, you have just 10. Bingo. So you're getting a 10% raise off of not only your original salary, but your original salary including the bonus, right? So let's make it concrete. So you can say the original salary is, you pick any number you want, make it 100. Then after the first 10% raise, you get a salary of 110, right? Mm -hmm. Then you get a 10% raise on top of that. So just if we did the long way, th that would be, yeah. Well, multiply by 0.1, so you would get... 11, right? And then the actual salary would be 110 plus 11, which would be 121, right? So your final salary would be, salary, sorry, 121, okay? Wait, 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 I have a question. Why do you times it by 0.1? Uh, I just did the brute force way. 10% is 0.1 of 110, right? So 10% is 11, and now you got a 10% raise, so the total would be 121. And then now, do you guys remember, how do you do percent increase? It's always where you end up, minus where you started, which is very nice, 100, right? That's the difference over where you started. Because it's an increase from where you started, okay? So and that general formula is always where you end up, minus where you started, always over where you started. Because it's not good enough to know how much you went up. You want to know how much you went up compared to where you started. Okay. And do you agree? Again, the numbers make it so pretty. Here it's really just 21 over 100. But that's 21%. Uh, not important because you have a calculator now, but everybody knows the alternate cheap way to do arrays or adding percentages, right? No. So I, I, think, I think maybe Matthew mentioned that he talked about it. So if you have, say, 110, right? and you want to increase it by 10%, you can think of it as you will take 10% of that guy, right? And then let's say that turned out to be 11, right? But then what do you add it to? You add it to the original amount, right? And you can think of the original amount as, so let me rewrite this. It's gonna be, so it won't get confusing. So you take 110, you take 10% of that, that would be your 11. Then you're going to add it to the original amount, right? But the original amount is what? It's 110, but you're getting all of that original amount. So another way to write it is, you're gonna get 110% of the original amount. 100% from this guy, there's one apple, right? And 10% from this guy, so there's 0.1 apples. So it'll just be, oops, 110% of 110. Can we try another problem like this? Wait, okay, yeah. Oh, so think about this. So what's the actual mechanical procedure? You took 10% of that, right? So that's 0.1 of the original amount. But then what do you do with the 11? You add it to the entire original amount, which is 100% of the original amount. So let's see that 110. Let's factor it out. There's your 110. So you get 100 plus that extra 10%, so 1.1. Just like if you wanted a 20% raise, it would be 1.2 times the original amount. Let's try the same idea, but let's do it in a slightly different setting. 